save lives. And nowhere is a tech effect, which is our special series here on Street Signs, greater than in drug development. Our Silicon Valley Bureau Chief Jim Goldman says a robot army is hard at work, taking organisms from the ocean floor, harvesting them, and turning them into the cures of tomorrow. Off the Hawaiian coast, researcher Roger Linnington mines the ocean floor for the next blockbuster drug. Collecting microscopic life forms living on the ocean floor. We're looking to find microorganisms that will make a lot of interesting natural products, which are the best uh, at producing these competitive agents for treating disease in humans. Competitive agents, another way of saying active ingredients, the kinds of things that make drugs work, and separating those that do from those that don't, well, it happens here, inside a lab at the University of California, Santa Cruz. This new half-million-dollar robotic tester from Perkin Elmer, it does in minutes what used to take researchers months, looking for the cure for cancer, cholera, malaria, and a dozen other diseases. It used to be one student sitting there with a pipette going one after the other after the other. We can test 50,000 compounds in a day. The robots separate potent cell-killing compounds from those that are ineffective. These are all healthy, happy cancer cells growing in the bottom of this well. This one looks like this compound killed all of these cells. So we only see a couple of nuclei. These cells are on their way to dying. These robots have been an absolute boon to the healthcare industry. Wyeth, the National Institutes of Health, most of the major drug makers now using armies of them to help create that next big thing. This lab has already discovered a breast cancer compound more potent than tamoxifen and another against cholera. These little zones, we call them zones of death, where the cholera are being killed by the compound. From lab to the drugstore is still a slow process, but these robots are injecting speed, accuracy, and cost efficiency into the equation, searching for buried treasures amid oceans of opportunities. And that really is the key here, oceans of opportunities, because it used to be that you just couldn't mine the ocean floor because there was simply no time or the ability to look at the kind of material that you would get from the ocean floor. Just how important have these robots become? Well, Perkin Elmer says it's already sold 1,100 of them at a half million dollars apiece. There is a revolution at hand. Aaron, back to you. All right, Tim Goldman, thank you.